Ben. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, Richard. Pleasure, Richard. Pleasure, Pleasure to meet you. So, let's begin with the, I suppose the question you must have been asked over and over again. This is a film about a guy who is not a pleasant individual. How do you make something that's an a piece of entertainment about someone so difficult to like? Well, if you, we look at this film as a segment of Jordan's life. You know, he, he has came a long way since this era, mm -hmm. uh, but, but we in no way set out to redeem him or glorify him. It's a, it's a look at, at just the debaucherous rise and fall of this character. Wall Street's kind of the backdrop, and we wanted to stay with amongst him and his crew as, as they just wreak havoc on and off Wall Street. I mean, you... I, certainly I found myself empathising with the characters and feeling a justification for, well not a justification, but feeling like I could understand to a degree why they were doing it. Surely that, at the end then, it, it does leave you feeling morally difficult. Uh, absolutely. I think I think whenever you're dealing with a young person who, who's, who's put in a position to make an enormous amount of money and doesn't have the discipline to control it, there's a little bit, you know, of empathy that you feel with them. But at the end of the day, you know, we're all we all have to uh, we all have to to pay for the actions we do and and that's kind of how our story ends although the punishment didn't really fit the crime in this case but you know I think from the addictions and the loss of everything around him that there's there's far more than institutional damage there. But it's also a testament to the skill of Martin Scorsese and the talent of Leonardo DiCaprio and our, our cast to be able to strike the fine balance of making a movie that's deplorable about characters but also you know, something that's entertaining and fun at the end of the day. Talking about Martin Scorsese, I mean, he's chosen to make this film three hours long. Do you, does that worry you as producers? I mean, ultimately you've got to... No, I mean, our philosophy is about not how long the movie is, but how long the movie feels. And I strongly believe that three hours in this movie feels like 90 minutes. Yeah, I mean, the reality is is we, we feel like our, our film is going to stand the test of time. I think we're going to have a really long run in the theaters. You know, week three, we're number one, and we've opened up in Europe. We're number one in France. We're number one in Poland, hopefully number one in the UK. Uh, so I think that we have the legs, and we're going to keep running. We have a lot of momentum right now, and the three hours, like Riza said, it feels like two. Thank you very much, gentlemen, Cheers. and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.